All right, um, so I'm going to do a screen share. We're going to go over week 15 and a new module, which is called Finals and Finishing. Um, and so let's get to that. All right, so you should be able to see our Blackboard class. Can you see our Blackboard class? Yay, awesome, thank you. All right, so I wanna look at the modules first. We have our weekly assignments um, and we still have some things in there and I'll go over those with you. Um, we have a new module visible to you. It's called Finals and Finishing and I'm gonna go over that with you as well, okay? Uh, let's start with week 15. That's this week, week 15 has just started. Um, so let me make that available to you. I didn't realize that was hidden. Okay, um, why is that hidden, visible? Okay. And visible. Okay, so um, in week 15, you have a link to your student evaluations. I'm gonna quick check that link and make sure it's accurate. It is, yay, okay, it's active and working. Um, if you read here, you'll see that your uh, username for this is your student email, which is your A number at lawsonstate.edu. Your password is your um, four-year birth year, so um, 2019 if you were born last year, and you're a prodigy. Um, and then the last four digits of your social security number, okay? Um, we don't usually use your social security number, so make sure you've read that and are remembering that that's what that formula is. Um, and then um, you'll screenshot the um, confirmation page that says that you've completed your evaluations, and then you will upload that confirmation screenshot um, in uh, an assignment right here. Actually, let me go ahead and create that assignment. And we'll make that due date the end of the week. Do you have questions about your student evaluations while I'm tinkering with this? Okay, so the confirmation should show um, that you have done all of your student evaluations, not just the one for my class. Um, I care that you had your say on all of this. This should be a 10-point assignment. Um, and you don't need any of that. Save. Oh, it should not be that. It should be a homework. That would change your grade too much. All right. Um, and then I'm just going to put a text here quick that says upload a screenshot of your um, Um, these are important. Student evaluations are important because we know this is how the um, administration knows when an instructor is doing their job and not doing their job. Um, so if you had a virtual class and your instructor didn't hold class, um, that's a problem. That's them being absent from class. Um, if you had a a class where they just weren't very engaging, they didn't talk very much, you could tune out and go do your grocery shopping that you didn't get what you paid for and they should know about that, okay? Um, so make sure that you are um, doing a, a genuine job. Now, there might be some questions that aren't pertinent anymore, um, like did we do group work and stuff like that? Um, if you're thinking about group work, think about the times that we went into our breakout rooms and that sort of thing. Um, but just remember that you are translating to the virtual world um, and that some of the things may not apply. Um, all right. Um, 
really um, information about the final exam. But it, but it, but it, but it. Okay. Um, in week 15, you are allowed to revise an essay. Um, and in order for you to do that, uh, you need feedback on your uh, drama essays. So I'm going to be grading those drama essays tomorrow so that you can revise them for Sunday if you don't like your grade on that. You could also revise your research essay or you could revise your um, poetry essay, whichever one did not go well. Um, the research essay would carry the highest percentage of change. So let's say you got a B on that already and you had Bs on everything else. You should strategize to revise the research essay because that would change your overall essay the most. Okay. Um, let's say you had a let's say you had a C on the poetry essay and you had a B on the research essay. Fixing the research essay would still improve your overall grade more than changing the C. Do you understand why? Because the research essay is worth 200 points and the others are worth 100 points. So they're weighted in the grade book. Um, so if you're strategizing there, um, preferences definitely put on that research essay. If you did a, a great job on the research essay, though, you don't need to redo it. Um, this is also optional. If you have an A on all of your major assignments, don't do this. Take the money and run. <laughs> you don't need to do this work again, right? This is an option for students who are trying to bring their grades up, okay? Um, students who are already happy with their grades don't need to do it. And also remember, to strategize here. If you have a C in this class, but you have a D in your math class, maybe don't revise for a B on a paper here, um, but maybe go and spend the week instead in your math class trying to bring that D up to a C, okay? Um, so it's optional. You don't have to do this. The week 15 assignment to revise an essay is optional for any student who would like to try to bring up their grade. If you already have an A average overall, don't bother. If you already have an A average on each of your um, assignments, your major assignments, don't bother. If you have A's on your essays, don't bother revising. I'm not gonna bring them up from an A, it's already an A, okay? Um, so don't bother with that. Questions about revising an essay, let's hear them. None? Okay. Um, then there's information about the final exam. Let me check that this is the most up-to-date information. Oh, nope, it's not. Hold on, fixing 30 November 2020 period. Okay, um, all right, so for our exam, you're gonna be asked to read a short story called A Very Old Man with Enormous Wings. And I've linked it for you here. I've also put a link down in the space where the exam will be, and I'll show you that in a minute. It's not that long an essay, so that's nice. It's a short story. It's not a long, short story. It's a short, short story. Um, and you're going to be asked to develop a thesis about a theme. or, or So you're going to either do a, a theme analysis or a character analysis. Either is fine. Okay? Um, but remember, developing a thesis. If you're going to do a thesis about a theme, you're thinking about um, I think this is the most important thing we learn from this kind of thesis. 
If you're doing a character analysis, again, that the character changed in this specific way is the way you're going to work that character analysis, okay? Um, students will generate your own topics. In other words, developing whether you do a theme analysis or a thesis analysis, that's up to you. And what your thesis is, is up to you, okay? Um, so while you're reading, think about what your thesis might be, okay? Students must cite sources in their essays. That means that when you, you've got a quote from the essay, and when you quote from the essay, you need to put the parentheses in there that says what page it came from. And you can use page number for the PDF, that's okay, all right, um, instead of the paragraph number. Um, it must include a works cited page. Okay, now the works cited file is, is here. Um, and um, I'm gonna correct this he, he as well here in a second. Um, but we'll go over that. The students must use five literary terms li this semester, and that needs to be corrected as well. Um, Okay, and we're gonna be using, um, I want you to put those terms in all caps when you come to them. I would say highlight or underline, but it's not necessarily available to you in every um, place that you type, whereas all caps is always available to you. So you're gonna put those five literary terms in all caps so that they stand out really well. So you have, your poetry terms that you can go back and look at, you have your short story terms you can go back and look at, you have your drama terms that you can go back and look at, which group is gonna be the most important for this. That's right, so you're gonna go back and review those short story terms. Um, and remember when I gave you an assignment that said to read the assignment and see how many terms you could apply to that short story? Remember that assignment? That's what we're doing. <laughs> That's why I made you practice that. Uh -huh. And so I saw this coming. So you might want to go back and look at that assignment where I, where I had you do that, um, where you used the terms... Um, Uh, where you used the terms when you were writing about, I think it was an Amy Tan story, is that correct? You were reading the Amy Tan and going over. So look back for that. Um, I can help you look for that as well. Um, 2016 made up university name. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna talk about the format of the exam and the day of the exam in a second. Let me just make sure we understand um, 30 November 2020. All right, uh, no, not that. That would be a horrible year as well. Okay, um, students will draft, edit, revise, and submit their essays in a controlled environment. Students will submit their departmental essays in Criteria and in Blackboard Ultra. Um, so those are the instructions. So you can plan ahead, right? You cannot, however, write ahead, all right? What's going to happen is that you have to compose in the, in the space, and you can't have, I'm going to, uh, here's what, how it's going to work. You're going to be in Blackboard on your computer and in Zoom on either a phone or a tablet, okay? Um, and you're going to have your phone or your tablet propped up here so that I can see you and your desk and your computer so that I can see you composing, okay? So take the week and figure out how you're going to get this sucker propped up in the right position and get that figured out ahead of time. You don't want to be sitting there trying to make a book stack to put it on at the last minute. So figure that out ahead of time. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, it's going to have an access code on the exam that you will not be able to know unless you're in Zoom with me and I give you the access code. 
the access code will change after class, okay? Um, the um, exam will only be avail available during that Zoom time, so it's limited availability. So when we look at it here in a minute, um, you, can, you can know that. Um, you will have this pattern available to you, and you will have the information that you need about it, okay? Um, including the um, university that published it, it's in the exam, okay? So you'll have that. All of this is in the exam, again, to remind you. Okay, um, all right, so that's information about the exam. Um, here's the place where you will find the exam, finals and finishing. The course exam is here. You can see that it's conditional availability, available based on date. And, it's, and our exam is on December 9th from 11 to 1, 11 to 1. So you need to be at a desk somewhere, D'Angelo, you can't be walking around anywhere. You gotta be at a desk. You gotta be ready to write. You gotta be ready to type. So if you need to work that out with your job, because I don't usually keep you until one o'clock, if you've gotta work that out with your job, make sure that you let them know um, that it is from 11, not 11.30, y'all, 11 o'clock to one. And I know some of you have school issues and stuff like that. Um, if it poses a problem with your schedule, let me know. It should not pose an issue with your Lawson schedule. Um, I had several students say, but I have a 10 o'clock exam that goes till noon. Um, my 10 o'clock exams are on Monday. Okay, so there's an exam schedule that prevents there from being overlap on the Lawson side. Um, so if someone at Lawson is saying you have an overlap, tell them they need to follow the exam schedule. If they need a copy of the exam schedule, have them email me and I will give them a copy of the exam schedule. Okay, but Lawson should not be creating any conflicts for you in terms of the schedule. If your, high, if your dual enrollment and your high school is going to have a scheduling issue, definitely let me know and we'll figure out a solution to that. Okay, questions about the day and time of the exam. All right, here is the link to the, the passage so you can read it ahead of time. You can print it out. Um, I will check that you haven't written anything on your printout the day of the exam by having you hold it up to your um, screen, um, but you can print it out. Um, I will even let you highlight it. If you would like to highlight it with a highlighter pen or underline things in a bright color, um, I will let you do that. But I don't want to see any written notes on your printed copy front or back. Yes? Okay. Um, so no written notes on there, please. Um, all right. It's not super long. It's like Let's see how many. It's only one page, so we are going to do paragraph numbers for our in-text citations. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen paragraphs. Um, if you do a printed copy, I will allow you to number the paragraphs on that printed copy. That is an acceptable note to write on there. So acceptable notes on the printed copy would include underlining and numbering your paragraphs. Questions about what's allowed in terms of this printout? You will also be allowed to open it on your browser um, from the test, um, but trying to go back and forth is really tricky. And I definitely don't want you trying to copy and paste from the PDF into the um, Blackboard space because it'll cause formatting issues. Um, so you'll have, to, um, you'll have to type from one to the other, which is really hard to do trying to go back and forth. So if you've printed anything this semester, this would be the thing to print, okay? You may highlight it. You may highlight or underline in a bright color. I just don't want to see that you've written notes on here. Okay. Other questions about this? What you're allowed to do with the printout and what you're not allowed to do with the printout? 
So, okay. All right. I'm going to go back to Blackboard. Um, the course exam um, says all the same stuff, basically, that it says information in the information about the exam. Um, so there's no need for us to take a look in there. Um, there is one thing I'm going to add here, which is that I offered everybody the opportunity to get some points on an optional assignment um, to show that they've registered for the spring semester. Um, and um, I'll put that up here. Now, my dual enrollment students may not be registering for courses in the spring. Um, they may have run out of things that are eligible in that program, or they may just be focusing on high school. I can't require it. Um, my full-time Lawson students might be um, registering for summer but not for spring because of work or whatever. I don't know. I can't make you register for the spring, but I can reward you for registering for the spring, and I plan to, okay? So if you do that, you'll get a 10 out of a 10 on a homework assignment. Um, if you don't do it, that assignment will simply go ungraded. Okay, so it won't it won't bring you down if you don't do it. Um, but if you do do it, it could help boost your grade overall just a little bit. Um, the other thing to remember is that if you don't register for classes soon, the classes that don't have very many students in them will be canceled and closed. Um, and then those won't exist for you to choose from. So, if you want to have the schedule look like the way you want it to look like, you got to get on that, okay? And you got to register for things soon, okay? Questions about that? Okay, if you're having trouble with advising, go ahead and go to general advising and find me and sign up for one of my times for advising, and I'll walk you through the advising. I don't mind doing that. Um, but definitely go through that virtual student advising on the website. It's under current students, under virtual advising. Um, and if you choose general studies, you'll find me if you need me, or you can go under your program of study. Okay? All right. Questions about week 15? Any questions about week 15? Then that's it. Yes, ma'am. Um, and that brings up a great clarification. We don't have a set meeting for um, Monday, the 7th. December 7th, we don't meet because I'm proctoring an exam for another class at that time. Again, exam schedule, trying to avoid the conflicts. Um, so Monday, December 7th, we don't have a set time for a Zoom. Now, if you need to speak with me, send me an email, and I'll set up a time to meet with you individually in Zoom. I don't mind doing that. Um, but during your class time, I'm proctoring an exam for another class. Okay? Um, but on the 9th, we will have our exam, and then we're done. Done, 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 done. <laughs> Two hours, yep. Okay, it's a five paragraph essay, don't make it longer than that. Um, character analysis is usually pretty easy or a theme analysis, choose one of those two. Okay, um, all right. Um, don't try to do a cultural context historical analysis, we don't have time for outside research, y'all. <laughs> Um, we are going to have to upload these to Criterion, so make sure your Criterion access is up to date um, and that you can log on and that's all ready for you, okay? Um, I will have a link um, in the exam section so that you can link to it easily, um, but um, don't fuss, you know, you don't have to submit it multiple times, you just have to submit it once, okay? Does that make sense? Okay. Other questions about this week or next week? We are going to meet on Wednesday, but I'm really just going to be, it's going to be full workshop mode where I just ask you what you need um, and um, just help you with whatever you need. If you don't need any help on Wednesday, you don't have to log on. Um, well, I'm at the point where I just want you to be doing your work. Um, I'll log on. Um, 
do kind of keep in mind, I don't know if any of y'all are in this boat, but we the Hoover school system went back to uh, two days a week for each kid. <laughs> so I am back to teaching six college classes and a third grader on the days when she's not in school. <laughs> so whoo, right now she's downstairs and I hope she's doing some work, but I really don't know. So <laughs> We'll see. Um, so um, if your kids are in that same boat, um, I hear you. Uh, if your siblings or you are in that same boat and things just got more difficult, um, please reach out and let me know what kind of support you need. And we'll see if we can get you the support that you need to finish, um, finish strong. Okay. Um, all right. If you don't have questions about what's going on, you can log out. If you do have questions, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the share. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording. I'll answer questions and we'll do workshopping. So any help you need, now's the time to get that help, okay?